today uh, i'm going to present spontaneous vitreous hemorrhage and subconjunctal hemorrhage and isolated ocular manifestation in thrombocytopenia without any other uh, systemic manifestation so introductory that is a uh, itp means it is just antibodies against own platelets which cause uh, peripheral destruction, destruction result in low platelet count it uh, mostly it can be ophthalmically like very rarely it will occur and when it whenever it will occur it might be bilateral uh, and uh, hemorrhagic ophthalmic manifestation associated with itp it may include tarsen's type of phenomena or hemorrhage within optic tract or non atriatic or thrombocytopenia alone also uh, when platelet count is less than 50000 is it is rare really sufficient to cause significant retinal hemorrhage we represent a case of idiopathic thrombocytopenia presenting as vitreous and subconjunctival hemorrhage as an isolated manifestation uh, a 50 a 55 year old male uh, presented to our uh, opd with 20 days history of sudden fearful loss of vision redness and swelling in the right he took medication from some outside clinic but it is not uh, cured so he was alcoholic from 20 years but no trauma history as per patient there is no past history of hypertension diabetic or any other systemic illness and he general and systemic examination was entirely normal including all signs of uh, perfidia uh, sorry itp on ocular examination right eye showed perception of light lead edema conjunctival chemosis sch corneal haze was there and ac was shallow nvi was there uh, iop when it measured on amplification uh, tonometer it was 36 fundus examination was limited by vitreous hemorrhage left eye it was completely normal iop was normal and anterior and posterior segment was normal there was uh, no nvi in left eye Uh, right eye B scan was suggestive of uh, vitreous hemorrhage with subhyaloid hemorrhage. Uh, after uh, few days, patient came with like uh, he has few reports like FFV done four years back. In he had similar history of sudden drop of vision and uh, then uh, on investigation we did uh, like blood investigation first we did uh, there was platelet count was eight thousand so we referred that case to for medicine department for thorough investigation their ps study showed normal cytic normal chromic uh, anemia with uh, no definitive sonological abnormality and uh, they did even bone marrow biopsy also uh, but uh, so the provisional diagnosis was itb was kept Uh, on management we started on anti glaucoma medication then eye drop and under a close observation we kept in ophthalmology then blood transfusion was given from medicine side so chronic thrombocytopenia was considered as a cause of right eye sch with vitreous hemorrhage with no other bleeding manifestation so on discussion part so thrombocytopenia alone even if severe it it is sufficient to cause significant retinal hemorrhage and it is associated association with itp it is mostly been reported to occur with concurrent severe anemia systemic therapy usually suffices leading to resolution of hemorrhage with good visual prognosis and itp may present with subretinal preretinal or vh so and high index index of suspicion along with comprehensive systemic examination and appropriate laboratory workup aids in diagnosis this disease so in conclusion the importance of chronic thrombocytopenia which manifested as retinal real oscillation with vitreous hemorrhage and sch leading to loss of vision and of course consider importance of breathing history and thinking about some unusual cause if it does not matches with examination finding these are my references dr sheetal uh, maybe you would want to go back and revise your diagnosis or revise the heading you can't there are a lot more things going on rather uh, other than only subconj hemorrhage and vitreous okay. hemorrhage and uh, can you explain in a sentence how thrombocytopenia might lead to neovascularization because ultimately the pathology is neovascularization hmm. just one sentence how does thrombocytopenia cause neovascularization Um, that's what ma'am in uh, this case we thought first about like uh, glaucoma including or anything but uh, left as glaucoma is second to neovascularization how did the neovascularization come how did the ischemia occur uh, might be ocular ischemic syndrome ma'am so like it is uh, we couldn't find out any cause that's why we did a blood investigation only so like ophthalmic side there was nothing we could make out Uh, was the um, RAPD was positive or is there other uh, RAPD was present? RAPD was present. Okay, so um, uh, what is the cause of the? I couldn't find what is the cause of the raised IOP. Was the gonioscopy done? No, sir, we couldn't do gonioscopy because corneal full haze was there and he had severe pain that time also. Even we tried, just we could take one IOP that time. So.
so uh, was uh, the patient called back later on follow up uh, on successive follow up vh was resolving uh, okay. till after one to two months like uh, hand movement he got okay but the uh, we still couldn't can't figure out why the iop is raised because uh, you uh-huh. know as you said the fundus florus and angiography showed neovascularization mm-hmm. so one of the pro- probable cause is maybe neovascularization of the angle or something like that but uh, uh, was the ac clear but it was not visible uh, that time not visible Did after follow up it was okay ha huh? of um, when the uh, corneal uh, haze cleared was there blood in the ac no sorry sir when the corneal haze cleared was hyphema noted in the ac uh, no sir it was no. cleared up actually 